Welcome to Winona's Writing Helper, an app by Socially Conscious Software. This video tutorial will give you an overview of how it works. Ultimately, this application is about empowering you to be a better writer. The content is designed around that central purpose. To achieve this goal, the content is dependent on you. Writing is challenging, thoughtful, and enjoyable work, and this application achieves its goal by providing you with the means to increase your rate of discovery of interesting new ideas and methods for your writing. There are 14 icons on the main page of the springboard. Each icon launches a different section of the application. The questions section provides you with 264 questions in 10 categories. Each question is designed to help you break through a writer's block by asking something you may not have thought about. Odds are you've thought about some of these questions before. Their purpose is, therefore, to remind you as well as to introduce new considerations to you so that you can use your good judgment to find out what is helpful for your current writing predicament or for planning for your future writing works. As you can see, each question is followed by an explanation text and also there's a user notes section so you can enter your own notes and save them and there's an email feature that allows you to send all the content of this question, its explanation text, and your user note to yourself or to friends. The punctuation guide is designed to provide you with a quick pocket reference to punctuation marks and, com and their common usage. There are 17 entries, each equipped with a guiding principle and an example. Also, there's the same user notes section and email feature. The writing definitions tab also has uh, the email feature and the notes section for the different writing definitions that are given as a quick pocket reference to look up important grammar and writing related definitions. The plot section gives an overview of 25 different plot types with examples of each. Some folks say there are seven basic plots, others say 20. It depends on how fine one wants to define and draw the distinctions. We chose 25. Again, there's a description and examples in common literary works. You also have the user note feature and the email feature, which sends the definition the examples in your user notes to you or your friends, whoever you like. Okay, let's skip ahead to the notes section. The notes section allows you to jot down work for your your ideas for anywhere you are. To add a note, just touch the plus button in the top right hand corner. You can change the note title here, and touch edit note body, edit your notes, save them, and say save note to save the entire thing. If you want to change it, you can go back in and change the title, or edit the note body, and edit this too. Again, there's an email feature, so you can email the note to yourself or friends. dialogue section provides you with a list of over a hundred words that you can use in place of said so that your dialogue remains vibrant and fresh for your readers. Additionally, they are tagged with either loud, normal, questioning, or softly spoken. The prepositions list provides you with 133 different prepositions for when you need them. The iPod controls section allows you to listen to your own music or audiobooks without leaving the application. The help page has a very detailed description of how the application works and answers your questions you may have. Additionally, it's intended to explain the content and how to use it and why we believe it will help you become a better writer. Okay, we skipped the people, places, things, and scenarios. Now it's time to revisit them. These sections go hand in hand in this application. 
The way they interact is complex, but after just a little explanation here, it will become easy to see the power within this writing tool. Simply put, scenarios will generate random connections between people, places, and things. These, the people, places, and things can also be generated randomly. Additionally, and this is the great part, they can be your characters from your own works too. Keep in mind that the generators are pseudo-random. This means that the structures the generators create are grammatically correct and structurally significant, and in our humble opinion, highly poetic. But also, they may be contextually lagging. That's where you come in. You act as a filter, reviewing the endless possibilities, keeping the ones you like, and imagining new, more creative work, more relevant to your own specific needs. This section is designed to produce endless variations for you to read through and pick the ones you like. Further, it can help inspire you to create alternatives to the suggested scenarios, people, places, and things. So if you're looking for a new character, generate one. If you're looking for a new setting, generate one. You get the idea. Okay, to create a person, go to the people section, touch the plus sign, and you get a randomly generated person that provides a first name, last name, role, and gender. Touch randomize to change these four fields. Click save that person once you find one that you like. You can easily add another, no problem. Okay, to create a place, it's very similar. Go to the places, touch the plus, randomize till you find one you like. Save that place. Same thing for things. Go to the things tab, Randomize until you find one you like, and save it. Now, scenarios need at least one person, place, or thing to create a scenario with. So make sure you have one, at least. <clears throat> to create a new scenario, again, touch the plus button. This will create a random scenario of one of six types. The types are person to person, solo person, person to place, solo place, person to thing, and solo thing. The scenarios generator will randomly pick one of these types and also randomly generate a scenario between a random subset of the people, places, and things you have created with the other generators. Touch randomize to randomly change these fields. To enter your own scenario, touch edit scenario. save to save the scenario that you like. You can edit people or places or things by just changing the name right into the text field. That way you can enter your own people places or things from your own work. So for editing or deleting, you can also swipe and the delete button will come up or you can press edit, the red circle will come up which you can touch and then it'll show the delete key. Hit done when you're done. That works the same for the places, things, people, and scenarios. So again, this application is packed full of useful goodies. And as you can see, this application is a powerful writing tool that will help you develop and advance your writing skills. Thank you for your time, and I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. Good luck writing well.